Hey, standard suck fans. You're watching the fifth recording of this episode. <laughs> My name is Anna van Kesteren. My name is Simon Peters, and I work for Opera Software. All right. Simon's going to tell us something about the tests he did before he joined Opera. And yeah, uh, yeah. What? about two years ago, I did uh, XHTML tests, and people on SitePoint forums run them because I didn't have like 20 phones myself. Oh. So the results were basically that all browsers except Opera. Uh, we're using an HTML parser only, also for XML content. Really? Yes. Why would they do this? Well, because they want to be compatible with the web. And uh, you mean they don't want to support two webs, or just one of them? Well, <laughs> I don't know. They want to support everything that people throw at them, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I guess if I were using a mobile phone, I would want to visit BBC.co.uk as well. You know, it's some weird. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Makes um, sense. So is this, uh, was this all mobile browsers that did so bad, or...? Uh, yeah, also the WebKit, WebKit supports XHTML, but the Nokia fork uh, yeah. was actually hacked to not support XML. Really? It used the HTML parser also for XML content. But the Opera, I mean, Opera, we should do something better, right? Yeah, o Opera used the XML parser, but okay. this is, of course, causing problems for us, because Actually, yeah, I, I have seen some big reports. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, fair enough. Of course, people are creating XML or XHTML pages that aren't well formed, so yeah. and they work in the other browsers, but not in Opera because. Yeah, but they have uh, I mean, so so the browsers are basically forced to to if you get this XML mind type to instead use your HTML parser. Yeah, at least so, on mobiles. But that kind of limits my abilities to use XML on the web, right? Indeed, you can't use XML-only features for mobile browsers anymore, because so, mobile browsers are basically forced to use the HTML parser for compatibility. So, so why are these mobile browsers doing XHTML in the first place? That's a good question, because evidently they can't support HTML, because everyone does it. Yeah. So if people were using HTML instead, everything would work fine, and people would you could be using XML features because yeah. no, but so so is has, has, has there been someone promoting uh, this XHTML mobile thing? I mean, because the, the, they could have just I guess yeah. the W3C is somehow behind this scheme. Yeah, the W3C has this best practices and uh, mobile profile and whatever. Okay. XHTML basic. The right. And they never did this for HTML. No. Just, they just did this for XHTML because they so they've effectively forked the web. I guess. <laughs> so why so why are they promoting XHTML? Is it is it better? Um, not really. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know really why why yeah. they did this. Well, so I, I personally I heard that there might be that parsing would be somehow expensive or something, and that that well this this is an argument that comes up a lot in blogs. Yeah, indeed. Uh, the theory goes that HTML parsing is very expensive and therefore you can use a lightweight XML parser on mobiles and it will work better. Yeah. But all browsers are using an HTML parser anyway and not an XML parser. And right. also parsing is like the most trivial thing in a, bar in a browser. Oh, okay. Rendering and uh, the DOM and the dynamic updates and everything is much more expensive. Yeah, and I guess, yeah, atmospheric execution, yeah, layout, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can yeah I can see where this is going. Right. So basically, parsers are cheap, and, yes. and the other things are more complex. Yeah, it's trivial so to have both an HTML parser and an XML parser in right. a constrained browser. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, so we can't use XHTML. So so I guess um, the W3C sort of by promoting this XML thing, right, really hard on the mobile phones, while the mobile phones actually did not do the XML thing. Yeah, they basically dicked the XML grave. Indeed, it resulted in authors relying on yeah. browsers using HTML parser for XML content. Yeah, and so basically, the mobile browsers were crap because of the propaganda. Yeah. Then authors code against this crap. Right. And then the better browsers are forced to also become crap. Uh, at least, forced to do this in HTML way. Yeah, they can't use XML parsers anymore. Yeah. Standards do suck. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that settles it for this episode. Thanks for watching. See ya. See ya.